This video contains one call between Nesto and Sonia on Super Bowl Sunday 2024. You will hear Sonia say many words about YouTubers, viewers, and law enforcement. She also talks about pictures she received from a blogger. Take a listen. It's loud because of that game. Yeah, yeah. You all right? Yeah, I have to text you on some stuff that transpired today. That quick? Yeah, so it's crazy because the problem is they keep releasing them down calls and videos, right? And so when me and you are talking, you know, our conversations are made out loud. So, I mean, you were talking about uh, pictures that I received that I didn't ask for that I received. They went and tried to make a big deal. Of course, they try to make a big deal out of everything, you know, because they want to make everything a sensational story. So they were just running with the, oh, uh, Sylvia gave her the pictures. And I'm like, I didn't say Sylvia gave me the pictures. I said, I'm blocker gave me the pictures. Why y'all think Sylvia gave me the pictures? Why was that y'all go to when I was just, because I was talking about, what this was on the 8th, when I talked to you the day before your birthday, when I came to visit you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, man, I'm sure, but the thing of it is, what they're so dumb about is, her, she has a social media page, so anybody can get the picture. It's not like somebody, like, it's, it's something that you cannot get, you know? And then at the same time... No, no, like what, like nothing was done with it, nothing was spoken on. I just said I received it and we changed the subject by talking about something else. It wasn't like no bit, you know, hoo ha and all of this and, and something was discussed. You know what I'm saying? It was just a matter of fact in conversation. You get me? Oh, that's intimidating a witness. How is that intimidating a witness? Because I just talked about something that happened. That's not intimidating a witness. It happened and, and we talked about something else. If y'all wasn't putting these calls out, then nobody would have heard it, you know. It wouldn't have been something directed. And then, too, they could stay off the Internet as well, too. So if you go on and try to listen to stuff, you know, then you could say, oh, no, it's not, because I would have to directly, you know, it would have to be something directly, purposely to that person, you know what I'm saying, to say it's some type of intimidation. Saying something to you when me and you are supposed to be talking and it's supposed to be a somewhat private conversation It's not like we're talking out in public. Um, conversation, and it wasn't even a, a, a conversation of threat. It was just a, a conversation as a matter of fact and talking, you know. Like the sun came out today, you know. I got on tennis shoes. It was like that of a conversation. It wasn't no, ooh, guess what, and da 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 and all, you know, all that type of mess. But they was just trying to be messy as hell, and they kept trying to come at her. But you know how they do with all our conversations. They always, and I told you this, they always be trying to guess who we talking about and say this is what it is. Like me was talking about furniture and they were trying to say that on the on the thing they were saying, Oh, Sonya's um telling him how Shirley's not calling or you know what I'm saying? Because I said radio. And I'm like, Y'all are dumb. Like, why would I be talking about her? You know, like I know people in radio, I know people that all walk of life. Y'all just think that's the go to? That's the only person that works from radio, like, and I don't even know her, so why would that be the person I'm talking about? You know, you're like, y'all are dumb. But they make a mess, and this is why the lawyers and everybody should have shut the shit down. You know what I'm saying? Why the case was up and active, because it's such a big mess now. It's like, I got to text you on some other stuff, but it's just such a big fucking mess at this point. It doesn't even make any sense. And it's the bloggers that keep stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot, and making big, big fucking issues out of nothing and trying to just run with some type of negative narrative, all because they want, you know, you to be guilty. They want it to be, you know, down this, down up. Instead of trying to sit back, shut the fuck up, and find out what transpires or what happens in court and let it play out in court like it's supposed to, you know. They're trying to make a whole little... You don't know shit. You got to go to court. And all of y'all just jumped in this situation back in September when it hit the um, radio show. So half of the, all of these bloggers are talking about it now because the bloggers that spoke about it in the beginning 
they moved on to other stories. Don't even talk about this crap no more because they're the bigger bloggers, right? But these little junior wannabe bloggers keep trying to, you know, reinvent, reinvent, reinvent. Then they got their little brainless followers who just ride the wave with them like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh-huh, that's true. That's true. And it's like, y'all, what the fuck are y'all even talking about? Y'all sound dumb. It's been three years. It's been three years since since they're saying all of this stuff happened. They're saying it happened in 19 and 21. Now, we're in 24, and we're still going to court with no evidence to support anything. What are y'all even talking about? But these are people that have no type of insight. Call Buddha. You got your phone? Call Buddha. They got no type of insight on um, on on how all of this is working. They're half-ass paying attention. They're coming in on the third, you know, on the third quarter, trying to act like they can, you know, this, this, that, and the other, giving all these overly strong opinions and situations. It's being messy as hell. So now they're mad at her. What I told her uh, when we did the interview, when they got mad at her after we did the interview, I was like, the problem is you can't act like you support us. If anybody acts like they support him or, or say anything positive, everybody's going to come after you. They're going to come after you. I said that the main reason why they're hating me so badly is because I'm supporting him. Because what else is there? All, me and the other girls got everything up to go well. They did way more than me. So if they're trying to run with that one narrative, they can't, you know. But because I'm supporting him, that's a problem. It's none of your business. I don't owe them anything. I don't know them. I'm going to support the person that I know and I believe, and that's just what it is. But if you're mad about it, that's fine. Be mad. I don't know you bitches. I don't owe y'all shit. And I'm entitled to support who I want to support. Just like y'all entitled to support who y'all want to support. But then when y'all get, you know, when everything comes to light and y'all going to feel a little bit stupid, then what they're going to try to make some other narrative up. Like they was mad about the charges being dropped, trying to say it was something else other than what it was. No evidence. Should have never been a charge. His, his warrant didn't match a, a, a warrant that they normally have for that type of charge. So you knew it was some bullshit. Why did they put the actual dates? Because they're trying to say this is what it was. They should have put the certain dates on that. But they did They omitted a lot of things. So I think that whole whole CP bullshit was just a stall because as long as they didn't go to trial, it's something that they could use as, you know, just some bullshit as a stall. So let's just, let's, let's, we need something to hold them on. Well, let's say this. Let's say we found this. Because it never has to come to light unless we go to trial. But they don't care. I know. Don't don't comment on shit. Don't comment on shit. Huh? The truth is continue coming out. So. Yeah. Let the truth come out. And that's all. They're going to be mad at the truth. That's the whole thing. They're going to be mad at the truth. But, I, but, um, but like I told her, I said, you can't, you can't. Be support. You just have to wait and see what what the outcome is. But you can't be supportive. You can't treat him as if he's human because they're mad that she prayed for you. You know they're mad at this. They're mad. I said they get mad over everything. You're dealing with bitter ass uh, women. That's the whole audience. You know it's like five guys in the in a room full of women, and these women are black and bitter. And I don't give a fuck. I sure do talk because that's the audience, and that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with better black women who are either so single they can't find a man or miserable in the relationship that they're in that they got to push and just keep the hate going and not be open-minded and say, well, let's just wait and see what happens. Why are we jumping to conclusions when there's no evidence? It's just three people saying three different things, and then we don't know neither one of them. We don't know none of these women. At all. Oh, well, why would you? This is a, because, you know, all our conversations get out. So <clears throat> the fact that I've had pulled all of their information and gave it to the defense, defense counsel, oh, that's, you shouldn't do that. Oh, yes, you should. This is how court works. Because when it's a he say, she say, you got to bring any type of evidence to court that's going to support who to believe. So all of their information and, and, and background got to come to court. Just like all of his information they're trying to bring trying to try him on his background, well, you need to try them on their background as well. It's fair across the board. We fought many a cases like that in, in when I was working in criminal uh, law firms. We fought many a cases like that because there was a lot of he say, she say, what nothing, you know, who to believe, who to believe. All right, well, y'all trying to ride his background. Let's, what, what is hers? Is she a truthful, honest person, or is she out here breaking the law, or is she out here doing this, or is she out here being messy? 
You know, because one of the three women do have a criminal background. Or really two, I'm sorry. Two people got criminal background, you know. I forgot about Erica. Got criminal background. So y'all want to, you know, throw his situation on, on something that he did when he was in his early 20s in his face and say, oh, yeah, you did it because back in when you were 20, you did this. Okay, that. So how are they living? You know? Oh, no, that's, you shouldn't talk that way about victims. What makes them a victim? Oh, you're victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming. All I'm saying is they came with a story, and I don't believe it. So just like y'all trying to say, y'all don't believe him? You want me to take a picture of y'all? You want me in the picture? Oh, because I'm a superstar. Hi. No. <laughs> um, these pants, these pants. Today, Anywho. Today is Sunday. Huh? Today, I gotta text you. I gotta text you with the, with, with the, uh, me and Andy gonna take a picture? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay, right here. Hold on. Hold on a second. You got a what now? Yeah. I need her. You know, oh, hello? Yeah. Yeah. I need to kill me. I'm gonna bend down for that. Anyway. These people just don't really believe. Let me tell you, you can't even tell me these people are supposed to be Christian. You can't tell me that. You can't even tell me that. They so negative, one sided, closed minded and they and they hate and they act like these women are victims like got beat up, got, you know, brutalized, hospitalized. They're, they're talking about them like that. You know, and I was like, Okay, so all these women are saying is that they gave us guys the money. It's a one sided story. You don't know what transpired, you don't know the whole story. You don't even know if the police sat there and twist this shit to make it sound like a crime. Because the police department is not a credible police department that's even involved. So you don't even know if it's them trying to make something out of it because they just want him. Because all of this stuff they're talking about happened three, four, five years ago, and they didn't come for it. The police went to them with a the conversation like, hey, yeah, what happened with such and such and such and such? Okay, bet. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, And I, I believe that's what happened. I believe the, the police, because of how the date went, with the uh, interviews and stuff, it was after they got your phone, you know, and they went to your phone and was looking at and just trying to figure out, you know, and then start talking to people and, and trying to, oh, can you come in and talk to us? You know, because in one situation, girl said it happened in 21. So if she felt like it was a crime in 21, why didn't she say something in 21? This is, a, this is the end of 22. If she felt it was a crime. And the same thing with the other girl. If she felt it was a crime, all that stuff happened at the end of 21. When she went to the police in June of 22, why didn't she report all of that stuff that transpired if she felt it was a crime? Or if she felt scammed or if she felt some type of way, you know? When you went to South Fulton Police, how come you didn't say something then? You know, only thing you spoke on was the car. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Uh, these people who are doing all this, uh, assuming and <laughs> accusing these all, what? All, all these uh -huh. people that's doing all this, uh, putting stuff out there, this uh, unknown information. Uh, that stuff is just nothing. It's so good, Diane. Huh? I got hurry. I just bought two out of the house. I'm like a drug dealer in the street. Good morning. Okay. Look and see what you want to see. Yeah. And then let me know. All right. Hello. Yeah. Uh, these, all it is is bloggers and they follow us. Okay, Andy. <laughs> nice to see you, honey. All, all it is is um, uh, bloggers and they and they little uh, minions. But what they're doing is they're, they they're making because they want these stories to be so this that and the other. They're making it. They're making a mess of shit. And so now they're all trying to be trying to gang up on. Sylvia, because she's not paying like she was in the hate crowd uh, like before. Like when I did the Tasha K interview, it was her, Tasha, the other girl who brought all my information out, and this other chick who brought out the shooting information, right? Um, they did this little foursome uh, recap. Bye, bye, boo. They about to score some recap crap out, and they started, like, going in, you know, all of them together. She was part of the little hate, you know, circle. And the more and more she just kept looking at the 
Oh, you're going to put me in here. You're going to say, well, they don't need me. Let me know when y'all ready to leave. Okay, I'm just trying to say more. Okay. Um, she, um, she started looking at, because she's more in the court system than the rest of them. The other ones don't go to court, don't follow cases like that. She did. So she was just looking at everything and seeing that this don't make sense, this don't make sense. You know, so she was like, oh, like, it doesn't look like what they're trying to say it is. So that's why more so she had moved towards being open and saying, I don't think, you know, I don't believe this happened, I don't believe that happened, you know. But, but of course, that was her, you know, being open-minded and, and, and open enough to say, why was I just riding this hate train, you know, da 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 whatever. And so they, they turned on her because she's not hating anymore. She's not hating with the rest of us, so now she's the enemy, which sounds fucked up. Just because she doesn't, and she's not against them. She's just saying, well, maybe he didn't do it. Because so the evidence ain't supporting what they're saying. And this is in the looking right, and this is the looking right. So now they're mad at her because she don't want to crucify you. She don't want to run with the narrative that you did it. Why can't y'all just accept the fact that she's got a different opinion and just respect her different opinion? It's not, you know what I'm saying, like, that's crazy to me that they doing all of this hate, all of this, this, all of this, this, like, they doing some real shady shit, you know, against her, all because she's being human, she's being open-minded, she's looking at the facts and not running with the hate narrative like the rest of these, you know, bumbling idiots. It's just, it's just uh, amazing. So I'm like, so they don't know, they, they hate you more than they hate me, which is amazing, you know, so they, you know. You get those trolls. I get a lot of people that, you know, that support and, and free Nesto. I got a, I sat there with the fifth. I guess they saw that phone call, that visit, and it was like free Nesto. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. you know, you had a lot of, one guy was like, let me know if he did anything. Like, you had a lot of support oh, on my situation, of course, because I, I always say, you know, positivity. And if you do have a, a question, that, you know, whether it's in support of or not, as long as you're respectful, ask it, say it. I don't have a problem with that, you know, because I'll answer a question if I can. But, again, I tell them everything is just my opinion, you know, because I don't know his defense. I don't know his side of the story. So I can only speak on what I read, common sense, and, and my experience in court and criminal cases to say this, that, and the other. That's it. I said, that's all I can do. But I can't, I can't say anything more than that. So, hey, come on, you heard his case. I can't hurt his case because I don't know his defense. I've ne- he's never told me anything about any of these relationships or any of these scenarios with these women. So I can't hurt his case because I don't know, nor have I ever said, you know, well, he told me this and he told me that and he told me that. All I did I say was he didn't meet that girl until after he got, till his son got shot. I said, that's it. I said, that's the only thing we said. We said that on the phone. He didn't meet that girl until after his son was shot, and that doesn't hurt his case. He didn't meet her until after. She's trying to say something happened nine months before he met her. That's all, you know, and the phone records support that. But other than that, I don't know anything else because unless he talk, talked about it on the phone, which he's not allowed, I don't know. You know, I don't know. So I can't hurt his case because, one, I don't speak of the victims other than I say I don't believe it. So one side of story. So I'm I'm not gonna believe them, I'm gonna believe him. I don't know them. And it don't and the evidence ain't supporting it. So and that's not, you know, intimidation. That's just I don't believe them. That's not an intimidation. Like they sound so stupid and they're so reckless on how they're be how they're behaving. And one of these clowns is an actual attorney and she's up with the nonsense and she's up with the messiness and stuff. I'm sitting there like that hey, you're not even being professional, you're not even being ethical, you're supposed to be an attorney, and you just as messy as the other little, you know, side hands or chaps, whatever. Okay. Shut down. Okay. That's great. Well, hey. It's crazy. I ain't, I ain't, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to let these folks kill my joy. No, no, you can't. I just... I just don't want them because what she was saying was hold they're on, saying got can you hear me? Go ahead. What now? What she was trying to trying to say today was oh it's making the uh, the victim scared. I was like how they gonna be scared? Scared of what? Did nobody? I said that man has never had anything ill to say about them. 
ever on none of these phone calls, which that's why y'all should let phone calls and videos out because you're hearing things, you know what I'm saying, which, one, he never had an attitude. He always said it was the courts and the police that twisted the shit. He never said anything about them, never had any type of – nobody said anything ill about him. All I said was, I don't believe him. And that's not, you know, that's just a, a matter of a fact. Just like to say, or I believe him, I don't believe him, or I believe him, that's nothing, you know. I said, so how was that, or how was any of that, or how is he saying, which on the jail call, y'all should, the thing of it is, is what the court should have told these bloggers is, if they discuss anything regarding the case, you can't air it. That's what they should have told them. Anything discussing the case or the witnesses, because we're allowed to talk. You know, they're not allowed to air it. Y'all allowed it to be aired. So if y'all allowed it to be aired, which that's on y'all. But, it, again, nothing was said in a threatening manner. Nothing was said in an intimidating manner. I just laughed and was like, anyway, you know what I'm saying? She she sent me the picture. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask for it. I didn't need to see him. I didn't care to see what the girl looked like, you know. So, and then we went on talking about something else. And then they sat there and assumed it was her. When me was talking, I was talking about two different people that day, two different bloggers. And they're going to sit there and say, oh, it was one person. No, it wasn't. Y'all sound stupid. Me and him purposely don't say names. But he know who I'm talking about. So I don't have to say names. We keep names out of our mouth. And I didn't Except for that one nothing. Thing. And I didn't no, nothing. you didn't. No, you didn't say nothing the whole time. You I didn't say I shit. <laughs> you just smiled and changed the subject. That's it. That's all That's it, it was. It. That's yep. it. I, I heard what you said and you moved on. Like, 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 but I didn't make it. I made light of it anyway. So I'm sitting there like, so what? I mean, I, and I sat there and said, I didn't ask for it and I didn't really care to see it. I didn't need to see it. So, you know, that, how was that in terms? That ain't in terms of that. I didn't say, oh, I was looking for it and I was trying to find, like, you know, like, y'all sound dumb. How? I'm, I'm sitting here saying I didn't care to see it. I didn't ask to see it. Nor did I, you know, want to, but she sent it anyway. And I was like, I really didn't need to see that. You know, I really didn't care. It didn't matter to me what they all look like. It doesn't matter to me what they look like. I don't give a shit, you know. My thing is going to court, proving what he need to prove, and going on. What they look like is irrelevant to me. It's, it's completely irrelevant. But, like I said, everybody's record need to go to court and need to be tried, just like you're trying to try him on his. Yes, everybody's record need to go to court. Everybody's history need to be in court. Everything need to be whatever you got on, whatever she did in her past, it need to come to court. Everything. Because one, it's her saying this happened and it's him saying, no, this happened. So now you need to understand how credible is she against how credible is he. And they kept saying, oh, he did it because he had a past. Okay. So it's again, his word against her word. How credible is she? We, we got to bring her history in it now. Because if there's no other proof past the conversation. And that's what you have to do in court. How do we how do we know who's credible and who's not? We don't know neither one of these people. So we need proof of credibility. So what we got on her? What's her history? What has she done? What has she done right? What has she done wrong? You know, same thing with him. You can't just make it one side and no, because when you go to court with none of these many no, except for the one, everything comes into play. Everything. When she goes on stand, they're going to ride her. They're going to be like, did you this? What happened with this? Well, two years ago, you did this. What happened with that? Five years ago, you did this. You was arrested for that, you know? And she's going to have to sit there and, and answer that. Well, when you knew this would happen, why did you keep going? Why did you keep going on this, this, that, and the other? And why did you do that, that, that? It's just a lot. You need to get you some water? <laughs> I got some coffee right here. All right. Okay, okay. Listen. No, because I gotta I gotta text you and tell you, but it, you know it just it's just out of hand. And the thing of it is, why this case is open, and this is why they should have it uh, uh, a a uh, gag order and a, a thing where they just do not let anybody post anything. This shit is a fucking YouTube mess. It's a YouTube wow. mess. I don't no, give a fuck because, if they because... if they come out and be. Go ahead. Hold up, hold up. Just because I, I, I found innocent, they they just going bonkers and don't want to believe it. No, they don't. They don't. They they want they want to hate. That's the thing. They want to hate. It's not about 
you know, love and happiness and I hope this works out. No, they want to hate. So they have to keep everything hateful. Just like when they dismiss a charter. They still were trying to find a reason to hate about that. Oh, it was probably from this, that, and the other. Oh, it was probably, you know, instead of, okay, well, I'm glad, you know, that that was dismissed and that, because she said it was some bullshit, so maybe it was, you know. No, it was, it was, no, so a couple of people said that. Sonya oh, did oh. say it was some bullshit. Sonya did oh, say that, da, 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 da. Okay, okay. you know. But the rest of people who was half ass not listening and listening to the, only the blogger was running with the narrative of, yeah, you know, he did that. So he didn't do that. And I said he didn't do that. And I said it was some bullshit. And they dismissed that shit. So now what? Oh, no, it's got to be something they're else. They're going to do the rest on, too. One, one yeah. You can see what's going on, the real, real. They're, they're That's what I'm saying. And I was like, okay, so if he's so guilty, why does he want all this to go to court? Why does he want all the evidence to come? I said, people that, especially since this shit is so out loud, it's not a quietly um, tried case. I said, if he's so damn guilty, he'd be wanting everything to trust, everything on the low, everything on the this, that, and the other. Why would he send me to go get warrants and have me read this shit if he had something to hide? You know, I was like, oh, no. Right. That's all I said. I was like, oh, y'all, I was like, y'all trying. Y'all just really trying to find any negative route to go, and there isn't. There isn't. Y'all keep acting like these girls said they lost money. Money to sue and get, if that's the case. Again, he didn't say what happened on his end to tell the other side of the story. We're talking about what these chicks went and said or what the, or what the detective twisted and said, you know, because she needed, she needed him to go to jail because she needs something, another, you know, niche on her, uh, I'm a new detective and I need some cases under my belt type shit. And here's the perfect victim because he's got a, he's got a history. So those are the easiest people to fry is somebody with a history. So let me go ahead and, and screw this man over. And he black too? Yeah, let's go with this. I got a whole fucking narrative from jump. From jump. And she got real desperate and was trying to get. So that's what they do, and I told you that. You'll never see nobody get one charge. Whenever somebody get arrested, it's like three or four or five charges. And he be sitting there like, because once, when, if they don't go to trial or whatever, they be trying to negotiate, they want something to, to get somebody they get convicted on something. So they try to bargain. That's why they always throw five or six charges on something like, oh, well, you know, we'll drop this, this, and that if you plead it out. Because they throw all them extra charges. Well, I didn't do none of that shit. You should have never tried to arrest me for me to resist arrest. You should have never approached me for me to, you know, fight you and, um, you know, go and get this other charge. You should have never said nothing to me. But they'll sit there and slap them with five charges because they figure one of them going to stick unless we go to trial. And get it all thrown out. But what's the likability? Because if he's got a pass, he's going to throw that pass in his face. And he's going to scare his ass. Nobody black get one charge. They always charge on four, five, six, seven charges. As a safety. They just hit you with some bullshit. Some hair, some, some bullshit. And you dealing, like I said, when you read the, the Roswell police uh, reviews and stuff and look at the videos that 11 Alive put on there, Man, that, that, that whole police department is fucked up. The whole police department is fucked up. And, and you got white people saying, and not just black people. One black guy said it, but them, all the other reviews that were negative were from white people talking about how foul and fucked up the, the Roswell police department. You have one minute remaining. And that's what's fucking crazy. That's just fucking crazy. They don't put none of that into life. They just run in with the blind narrative. But these okay, bitches hello, don't. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You know me. Hello? 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 Uh -huh, go ahead. Just, just hit me uh, right now what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. I'm about to. Bye, bye, bye. All right, all right. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one.